All right, I've finally been attacked, I guess. Uh. Fuck you. Fuck that. Ugh. Oh, I don't like it anymore. It's not cute anymore. Ah, uh, it shrieks. It shrieks and screams and it seems to detect me at, at an insane range. Ah. Uh. Shit. So the- it tells me where the damage is. 3D wise, it's... Looks like it's the back left? Looks like it is on the left side. Meaning not the side facing the creature. Am, I must have taken my damage from hitting the wall. Oh yeah. What do I not want to be out there with it? Okay. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. We good? Back to full health? Cool. Alright, we've we've experienced damage on the Cyclops for the first time. Uh, wasn't quite as catastrophic as I thought it might be. I was a bit concerned. I like that it didn't latch onto my face. That's That was nice. It didn't do like a face hug. I was a little worried it was going to latch onto my face. Like as in like the face of this thing. And then I'd have to be looking at it attacking me. But it just kind of headbutt me against the wall after making scary sounds. Alright, so we're clearly in its attack range, and it's a problem, so I'm going to turn on silent running. I don't know why I didn't turn on it first. We need to kind of haul ass out of here a little bit. And out of its range of detection. I see the other... Yeah, those are the other things I saw going around. Dude, are you... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it attacked the other creature. Unfortunately for me, that thing really has the lay of the land around here. What is... Ah! Oh, I hit the tree. Shit. Oh, more trees. Am I damaged? We're good. I think I've heard that if you're if you're not within crush depth, that you don't really take physical damage from from collisions. I think is what I've heard. Because all you're doing is exhi exhibiting pressure on the ship, and so if you're not under, if you're above the crush depth, then that means that it can take that kind of pressure normally. Whereas if you're on the margin more, you might take collision damage, is what I've heard. Which is kind of reinforced by the fact that... I'm gonna turn off silent running, because it's draining me. I think I'm out of its immediate range for now. Part of what makes me think that... Is that the way I want to go? Is that, uh... The reef... The, uh, the leaf... The reaper leviathan. I, I was like, leaf back? The re reefer. Reefer madness. Where is he? I don't see him. Cool. Uh, the, the reaper leviathan, uh, it talks about how it's exhibiting crush, like crushing pressure on, on you, on the sea moth. That's like greater than its crush depth. Is like what it, is what the codex entry basically says. That appears to be a passage direction I can go down. Should I try to get a picture of one of those guys? A picture, a scan? I mean, I should try to get a picture of the big scary thing too. That's a picture. Sca scanning stuff is kind of where the narrative comes from to an extent, but it's scary. I'm somewhat more encouraged if I think the Cyclops is at least safe.
There's a spider thing down there. It'd be nice if any of that stuff was like nickel or something. But I don't think it's nickel. I kind of want to take a look. Maybe hop out with my prawn suit. Uh. 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 I think that was a combination of poppin' and collision detection, where the game was just freaking out on how many things I had to calculate at once. Alright. We're doing okay on battery. That's probably titanium. Don't know what that is. Oh, there he is. He's over there. Creepy ass spider things. Alright, I might risk it. We'll make a save and all that, but yeah. I've got my cannon. Was that an alarm? Alright, oh, my internal lighting's been off this whole time. It's easy to forget because it's so glowy and green around here. I feel a little safer with internal lighting turned off, like it makes me less likely to be hit attacked or something, but I don't actually have that much reason to think that. This is my I'll sort it later box right now. What are you honking at me for? What's that sound? Is it you? I will delete you guys. I don't even know why I have you. Are the scary things around here? I kind of want to isolate just one of them. So what are you? Silver? Silver? Yeah, no nickel? Because that's the new resource I want more of. See, the backwards facing direction is where I came from, so... That's where I'll see monsters. Where are they? What? Is it doing that thing where I left the biome slightly? Oh, there it is. There's the big guy. Oh, there they are. The game spooks me out when all the monsters just disappear. I'm like, dude, I know they're here. Uh, they were just here. There's the big one. God, he's so big. I want one of the little guys come after me, if I can. They look aggressive. They don't look like the non-violent types of creatures. They look like the usual serpenty, monstery types. <laughs> the I'm an asshole creature. Oh, you coming? Oh, is he coming after me? Is that the big one? Was it after me or just roaring in general, though? Uh, I just want to scan you, buddy. Wow, it's 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 really hitching right now. Okay, that one's way above me, and that makes me nervous. River Prowler! Come on. Don't mind me. I'm terrified of you. He doesn't seem to see me right now. I'm not necessarily retreating out of fear right now, but because I should really renew my oxygen. Because it's two thirds down already. Alright, what do you have to say about yourself? The River Prowler. Fast, agile predator discovered at great depths. Powerful jaws used for both scavenging prey and warding off large predators. Torso. Its eel-like torso is highly vulnerable, consisting predominantly of spinal column and cartilage. Show significant overlap with other eel-like predators. 
4546B. Attack profile. It will aggressively keep its jaws facing its opponent, but smaller, faster life forms may have an advantage. Assessment avoid. What I kind of thought. What about the big bad? I want to see if I can get closer to the big bad without getting closer to the smaller guys. Because they're kind of clustered in the middle. There he is. Ah, uh, good, 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 good. <laughs> oh boy. Frame rate. Okay, here we go. We're back. We're back to having a frame rate. <laughs> There's like a transition area zone where it has to load everything. We'll probably try and deal with that guy's physics as he collides with everything in the area. I don't see any of the little guys, which is good. That's my goal right now. Is he coming after me? He's just roaring. Ugh. Why am I doing this? Oh boy, he might see me now. Not yet. Oh boy. Thank you for, uh, ghost, oh cool, it's called a, I'm glad it's called a juvenile. Peace out. Where am I? No. What the fuck just happened? Oh, what the fuck just happened? Oh, I didn't like that. Uh, was that a glitch? Or was that something that the war that the stasis rifle does? I was going the wrong way. That's a really uh it's freaking out. Yeah, this is a trans this is a transition where it loads between the two like chunks of biome, probably. And so when I go back and forth it freaks out every single time. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was not a good time for the game to behave strangely. <laughs> I was trying to go that way and somehow I was going up instead of forward. I'm like, no, leave the area of the bad thing, please. What do you mean juvenile? That's a baby? Fuck off. This large predatory, it's a ghost leviathan juvenile. This large predator has adapted to live in deep waters and dark cave systems attacking anything and everything in its quest to grow larger. Wow. So you just suck, huh? How many eyes do you have? Look at that giant basking shark mouth gape. Torso. Soft outer membrane and elongated body enable superior navigation of tight cave environments. I, I beg to differ. Displays some similarities with other eel-like predators in the area. However, the ghost leviathan has covered over the electrical prongs on its inner torso with a taut, transparent membrane which delivers superior maneuverability. Diet. In its juvenile state, this leviathan feeds on larger herbivores and unfortunate members of its own species. They display a remarkable rate of growth which shows no signs of stopping, suggesting they m must abandon their hatching grounds before they grow too large and make for open waters. Assessment avoid. I'm in their nest? That's what you're saying? This is a juvenile and they grow super fast and so they're gonna get too big for this place and leave? I'm in their baby place? Full of babies? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, there's one piece of good news there, which is that if they're too big for their own nest, that means that their parents aren't here. <laughs> so, while we have the unsettling uh, inference that there are evidently our parents I should be worried about, there can't, they can't be in here because they outgrow the place. That's what that just told me. But, if I find where they're from, I might find like a fucking queen or something, like some sort of immobile blob monster that, like, can spawn the babies like crazy and is trapped. It might not be immobile, but I mean like it might be trapped. It might be big enough that it can't leave the chamber it's currently 
locked inside of. Okay, I gotta, I gotta admit, I'm a little curious. Sorry. That might just be silver. But it looks a little different. That might be silver. Hello, leave me alone. That's just silver. Oh, you guys, you, sound, you guys are a little creepy sounding. I gotta memorize the, the sound of the rays so I don't have to be threatened by that sound. I'm not in the mood for jumping out for a ruby right now. Please tell me this goes somewhere and isn't just a weird little dead end. Oopsie. Ow. Okay. We're doing good right now. It's fine. Okay, calm down. I'm gonna have to poke around and actually chart out where I'm going if there is a way out here. This might be a dead end. I may have just assumed that this was gonna go somewhere. Let's see. This resembles a path. Oh, that might be somewhere I can go. There seems to only be those guys. Ah? Uh... That might be, okay. So that's probably where I go. It's a little hard to navigate. But yeah. It makes sense. Uh, this biome, with the fossils and everything, is evidently where I need to go to find the disease research location. But I also need to get like, let's see, we're 650 now. I need to get 150 meters deeper. That looks kind of like that. <laughs> that might be a good sign. Maybe it's even just right there. Listen, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna make the trip count. <laughs> and just grab a few things. Magnetite. I want nickel. I don't even know how much nickel I need, I just know that nickel uh Hey! Crystalline sulfur, shit. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's like hiding under the goop. It's important. I don't want to touch the goop. I don't trust it. I might already be touching the goop. I can't tell, honestly. Uh, I feel safe right now. The spiders don't threaten me very much. They might... Ooh. Oh, I didn't do any damage. I was literally about to say they might do damage if they actually hit me, but I don't know how much how much. But they don't th they don't threaten me psychologically. Uh, then then one hit me and it did no damage. So uh, yeah, I'm extra not threatened right now. They're just kind of creepy. I would not like to see them in real life. That's for sure. I got crystalline sulfur. Ah, I know that I need that for at least one blueprint. Probably a couple of them. I've written down. I'll, I'll get my notepad in a second when I am not in actively swimming around. Oh, it's you again. You're loud and screechy. It makes me think you're going to hurt me. Why do you got to threaten me like that? Quiet down. Mating season or something? Christ. God, the crystalline sulfur is really easy to miss because it's in the goop. That makes me worry I'm missing other things. E ah! Jesus, stop it. Oh, fuck, I will fuck you up. I will fuck you up. <laughs> you weird crab monster. Is there more? Yeah. I don't know why there's more, but there's more. Let's get back before I drown. Drowning's bad for you. One might call it my number one cause of death so far. Drowning and burning. <laughs> Zero deaths from creatures. It's multiple deaths from drowning and burning. Clearly I have my priorities straight. 
Uh, plunk you guys down for now. I'll put the rubies in the ruby. No, the ruby thing's full, isn't it? Got crystalline sulfur. I arguably don't need a new sulfur. I have this one, and it's not full. So there we go. Just let's put it with the other kind of sulfur for now. Oh, that's a that's an important find. Let's see here. According to my notes in the backlog, we still need to craft swim charge fins, prawn suit propulsion arm, and cyclops fire suppression system. I don't have a note for the arm for why I can't craft it. Oh wait, because I need a moon pool, right? Uh, fire suppression system says crystalline sulfur. That must be the one upgrade I'm missing right now, right? And then swim charge fins is polyaniline, so I could actually, I think I can actually craft that too. Already get things done. Two sulfur, two aerogel. That's easy. Easy peasy. An aerogel is a gel sack and a ruby. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab it from here. I was thinking, like, should I grab it from the other one? The overflow? I'll just do sorting at some point, it's fine. Bell sacks. There we are. There we go. Isn't it nice that I set that shit up? <laughs> I don't like how I'm currently drifting. Save. <laughs> Whenever I'm sliding, I'm like, oh no, the game's gonna kick me out and I'm gonna teleport out and it's gonna... Nah. I'm down, game. Don't glitch me out. I will say it's very impressive that this big vehicle can move around as a big physics object and I can walk around inside of it. In a lot of video games when you have a vehicle like this and you take control of it, you kind of just become the vehicle and the vehicle just moves around. But I'm physically inside the vehicle, which has its own physics on the inside and outside, and I can craft things in it that'll have to stay in place and stuff like that. Like, the Cyclops is a really impressive piece of gaming technology. But it's still glitchy. <laughs> Both can be true. Ah. Uh, oh, texture pop. <laughs> yeah, and filling it with even more stuff, I'm sure, is only adding to the concern of uh, how well it runs. Is this the last upgrade? I wonder if that's the last available upgrade, or if you just have to pick and choose which ones to equip. Interesting. Do I have a zero? No, I have weird, almost empty ones. But none of them are actually a zero right now. Let's see. But the efficiency module, depth module mark two, decoy tube, shield generator, fire suppression, docking bay. Death module mark one. We've done that. Efficiency module. It doesn't say mark one, so maybe that's the only version of the increased efficiency you get. Shield generator, yep. Oh, sonar upgrade. Still waiting for that. And, uh, am I sinking? That's not good. I already crafted it, thankfully. Cyclops docking bay repair module. I have that. Compression system. Yeah. There's seven upgrades on this screen, but there's six you can equip at once, it looks like. I'd like to have sonar. I'd also like to just never be in a dark enough place where I need sonar ever again. I thought my feet were sinking into the floor. Maybe not. Okay, so that's that. Boom. We can cross out Cyclops fire suppression system off the list. Was that my only thing I needed crystalline sulfur for? Huh. Well, I've got it if I need it, and I should collect more regardless in case some new things show up, which they probably will. Don't usually use something for only one recipe. What about the fins? Charge fins. Wirelessly charges your held tool while you swim. Polyaniline, fins, wiring kit. Oh, but I but I can't. They're they're separate from Ultra Glide fins. Huh. I might pass. I have a battery charger. I'm fine. 
It'd be nice to have my tools recharging themselves, but uh, like these ones make me faster, and that makes and I want to be fast for when scary things happen. And they seem to they seem to be be mutually exclusive. I am moving and sliding like crazy. Don't want any of these things to run out of power. So, oops, wrong menu. There we go. There we go. We're charging. That's not a real tree yet. Man, I... Now that I'm actually stuck in here long term, you get to see how fast you burn through these, don't you? Tempting to make more planters, but I mean, I always, I always constantly have like two leftover trees, so I, I think I'm at a... I think I'm fine. It's just that if I had more planters, I would feel like... It, I would have the bonus of never feeling like I'm on the verge of running out. But I, I never seem to be capable of running out. And it's not like I'm going to digest faster or anything. I think it's a constant rate of hunger, so we should be good. Also, if I was more consistent about which ones I mined, then I wouldn't have the thing where two of them go down at the same time, which is what actually happens half the time. If I was more methodical, then it wouldn't feel like so many of them were constantly gone. All right, so I found the way out. Have I saved? Whatever. There we go. I found the way out. I just need to find a way to rotate it towards it now. It's that way. Oh, my engine's not on. Engine powering up. Hey, well, I know the first time I ever cried in a theme park. It looked a little bit something like this. The Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I don't know how old I was. Probably like six or something. It was already scary because I was in a dark, confined area and stuff like that. But just to top things off, I should probably do the bottom, the keel. But just to top things off, that goddamn ride uh, has this sudden drop at the end. If I remember correctly, at least in the version I was at. But who knows, the memory the memory is so old that it's basically not even my own memory anymore. Not this much of a drop, admittedly. <laughs> it wasn't vertical, but it was just this, just this nightmare chasm in the slanted direction like this is. Uh... Whoa, look at that. The fire suppression system's over here. What was that sound? Whoa. Huh. That's a weird view. Uh... I don't know. That was one of those sounds that's kind of familiar, like I'm used to hearing it all the time, kind of. But I don't know what it was. It spooked me a little bit. That little, that little computer sound I, he I just heard. Looks like if I go a little bit further, I'll be able to just lower straight down, basically. Once that clears. It's very much a vertical drop at that point. I think I'm scraping on the ceiling. That seems to not be causing damage. There's one of those guys. Not currently a threat. And thanks to the way that waterfalls work, I can now say that's... I can safely say that's just vertical, so we're good. I'll keep an eye on the forward. Yeah, I think that's how the Pirates of the Caribbean ride went, is that... Bunch of yelling. Bunch of pirates. Sh oh, he did the physics thing where he just rubber bands away. Ding! Huh, I haven't seen that happen in a cave yet. That was weird. Maybe that's what happens to the, the crab squids when, they, when I lose track of them out of nowhere and they seem to disappear. Maybe that happens when I'm tr like when I have my back turned. They literally just go <laughs> that old cartoon stock sound where it's like like the bongo drum sound or whatever. 